Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a haul video. I have some stuff I got from Ulta. I have some stuff that Pixie sent me, actually two different packages that Pixie Beauty sent me. And I just wanted to kind of open it all together and show you guys the new stuff that I've been getting or receiving. So without further ado, we're going to get into this video. But if you are not already subscribed and you are new here. Hi, I'm Jamie B. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. I do three new beauty videos every single week and you don't want to miss out on those, but we're going to get into this haul. So number one is Ulta. I spent, they were having a thing and it was like $200 between a certain time frame and you got a thousand points and Y'all know me and my points. I'm actually, I've been saving them since day one of 2021 to see how many I can get. And then I'm gonna do a huge haul in December with all the points that I've gotten. So, also, <laughs> a lot of this is squished. Um, they didn't they didn't do very well when it came to packaging or I don't know, maybe UPS messed it up, I don't know. But I will say like none of this is makeup. It's all skin healthcare beauty situation. But for all the people who are not new to following me, you guys know that I struggle with eczema so severely um, to the point actually that they actually just put me on an oral steroid yesterday for five days because it's been getting so bad like around my neck and my eyes and my around my mouth to where like my eyelids it's hard to like even open them that's why I haven't really been doing makeup the past week it's because like I'm having some issues but hopefully the oral steroid will help I've never actually been on an oral steroid but if you guys have been on them let me know down below because I will tell you the first day I took it <laughs> I thought I was going to throw up. I'm sorry, trigger warning, but I did. So a lot of the stuff I got was for my eczema situation, basically, is what I wanted to say, okay? Mm, all right, so the first thing I got was this, but look at this box, okay? So this is the CeraVe Healing Ointment Twin Pack. I wanted to get the smaller ones just to try them, because someone told me that they were really good, but I didn't want to get a huge one and then it not be like I've had a lot of people recommend stuff to me and then I spent all this money and then it winds up being like something that irritates my skin. But I will tell you, I've already opened it and uh, used one. I've been using it for probably two, three days. Um, it's not bad. So this is the size of them. They're just like trial size ones. If it keeps doing what it's doing for my skin, I'll buy the bigger one, but I just wanted to try it before I committed. So the next thing is the CeraVe Eczema Relief Creamy Oil. This is the Colloidal Oatmeal Skin Protectant. Intensely moisturizes and helps relieve itching due to eczema with three essential ceramides and safflower oil there might be some residue on there I've also used this one and this one literally I'm not even gonna lie to you guys I put this one on and five minutes later the itching was gone which is weird because I've tried so many things with like uracin and stuff and it just doesn't help I bought a lot of CeraVe stuff I'm not gonna lie another package that got completely demolished um so this one is CeraVe therapeutic hand cream this has dimethicone skin protectant Moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier. So I don't know if you can see this one, but so this is actually something I bought for my son. He has, I don't really know if it's a health condition per se, but he has like his palms get so clammy and sweaty and they peel so bad. He also struggles with eczema, but like the peeling situation, I don't have any issues like that, but like it looks like he's almost a bit like his fingerprints off. Like it's so weird to me, um, but they peel so bad. So I'm hoping that something like this will work. So, and if not, if you guys have any recommendations for super sweaty palms and feet, let me know down below because he i don't know what it is and his doctor's like it's totally fine and i'm like i don't think so i'm not a doctor though i don't know so the next couple of things are actually going to be for my husband i just picked them up but i thought i'd show you guys this is the billy jealousy leave-in conditioner and style beard control so my husband has recently decided that he is going to grow a beard if you guys are new to my channel you've probably not seen my husband because he hasn't been on here in a, for a while um but he does not have facial hair or did not and now he's growing this beard so i bought him a bunch of stuff just to kind of help him with the process of it so i also got the billy jealousy devil's delight beard balm let's smell it oh it smells nice wow it smells really nice actually i want to smell this beard control i like to smell things so this was a very um like necessities haul i'm gonna say like i didn't get a lot of makeup i didn't get any makeup actually oh it's 
I'm an idiot. It's sealed. I'm not going to unseal it, but I'll keep you updated if it smells good. Definitely a necessity situation. So the next thing is Everyman Jack Oil Defense Body Wash. Removes dirt and excess oil. This is the vo Volcanic Clay. And this is a man's body wash. Well, it's supposed to be, I'm assuming, to be for whoever. But I bought this for my husband. Actually, it doesn't smell bad. Bad, but I'm gonna be honest it kind of smells like uh, counter cleaner like disinfecting and then I got another one which is sandalwood oh god I mean they smell okay they're not like they don't have that like you know what I mean like the, the axe the uh like what is it swat like that it doesn't have like a very cologne smell it's like I don't know it's weird. It's, we'll see. It's, we'll see. Just see. We'll see. So the next thing I got is just a packet of uh, gentle, soft and smooth, gentle peeling foot mask. I've never done a foot mask, but I heard that they're really nice. And in the wintertime, my feet do get crusty musty. So I'm trying to avoid that because I don't get pedicures because I have like this thing with people touching my feet. And uh, so, yeah, I have to do it on my own. And then this is just a oh, CeraVe ex sample so the only makeup item i did get was the so juicy lip gloss from ColourPop. and if you know you know i got it in princess cut which is the clear one it is my favorite i recently did a haul and i bought two of them and they're gone so like when i tell you this is my favorite lip gloss literally is my favorite lip gloss it's clear it's not thick it's not runny it's not sticky and it has a little peppermint to it so it gives a little tingle and for some reason I really like that tingling feeling on my lips which is very strange but I do it just feels like something's there I don't know that it's really healthy but I do and I like it so I got I get this one it's eight bucks from Ulta Colourpop sells them on their website but I think if they ever discontinued it I'd probably be so sad I have bought a total of probably six of them since they launched I go through lip gloss like crazy though so the next thing oh my god this one busted open oh so the next stuff is gonna be all from one brand it's called eczema honey cleaned it but it did get busted open at the top here so the whole this like the last four things are gonna be from this company called eczema honey basically I typed in eczema just to kind of see like what came up and that's how I got to like the CeraVe and all that but and I also had someone on YouTube on one of my videos comment the CeraVe healing ointment so I just went ahead and I wanted to try this brand because it's supposed to be really nice for eczema this is the honey and oatmeal facial cleanser and what I'm thinking is it has like nothing in it but it really does still have like a whole bunch of ingredients in it so hopefully it's not gonna be something that irritates my skin but so I got that so the next thing I got was the eczema honey soothing facial cream kind of like it's white and yellow so it's hard to really pick it up this is gentle comfort for skin protection test sample for allergies Warm a small amount into the palm of your hand and apply on your face as needed. So we're going to test it on our friggin' hand, not our face. Warm a small amount into the palms of your hands. There's no scent to it, so that's really good. But this was not sealed. Should I be worried that that wasn't sealed? So I'm putting it on my hands because I don't test anything on my face. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a smart idea. So then the next thing is Eczema Honey Skin Soothing Cream. Nutrient rich, honest, moisturizing itch cooling spot test on uninfected area before using apply evenly to your skin apply lightly and use one to three times a day as needed best results use after bathing to lock in moisture that's what it looks like hear me out i actually opened this to try it and it burned so i am it stinks like it almost smells like peanut butter that's like it smells like peanut butter, but that's what it looks like. So I'm going to give it another go because yesterday or a couple days ago when I first got the box, I tried it on the very flared up portion of my neck just because like, you know, I was like, oh, well, it'll help it cool down. But I think my skin at that point was so far past saving with something like that, that I just, it burned it. So I want to give it a try once the medicine is the oral steroids kind of take their their situation their time to get rid of the most of the flare and then i'll go in with something like that so then the next thing is a nourishing face serum so i just wanted to try these out i don't think this is a big brand anything i think it's actually like a indie brand if you will 
but this is intense rehydration, quick absorption, and nutrient rich. I just figured if it was for eczema that it was something that I really wanted to give a try because I just, I have tried so many things and I struggle so bad with my eczema and I'm just tired of struggling with it. I'm tired of my body like freaking just attacking itself and being a jerk. So wish me luck. Hopefully these will work. Hopefully they won't give me adverse reactions because the problem is I find that I'll get eczema stuff and it'll work for like a month, if that. And then it goes right back to having issues, so. I'm just saying, I haven't had the best luck. Right, so now we're gonna move into the Pixie Beauty. I'm just trying to clean up my space. See, I told you most of that was like necessity situation. So I'm gonna start with the most recent one I got from Pixie, which is this one. It was actually really heavy. And ooh. So it is a three mask kit. So it comes with a nourishing and energizing rose mask oh that's cute comes with like a little spatula too how cute is that and then it comes with soothing and hydrating this is a milky remedy which is one of my favorite things that they have their milky brand and it also comes with a spatula these are heavy you get 10 fluid ounces of these and then brightening and soothing this is vitamin c brightening toning jelly there we go. I want to, I don't know if I want to open them because I really don't want to like, I think that they're like the ones that come in their squeeze tubes. I just think that they have them in this cute little tub. So I'm not going to open them. Ooh, fancy. I actually don't mind Pixie skincare. When I have my flare ups for my eczema, it can be hard to really use anything if I'm being honest like it doesn't matter if it comes from Target or if it's something that I paid an ass ton amount from Sephora if my eczema is acting up and flaring really bad it doesn't matter okay it's my face is not gonna let it go down like that so I won't be able to try these right now but once my flare-up is gone and I have it under control maybe I will do a skincare video or like Instagram video just testing these and letting you know my thoughts but thank you Pixie for those I'm kind of excited so this is the last item this is beyond huge this is half my body height just so we're clear and I'm five two and a quarter so this is huge now this is one of the biggest PR packages I've ever gotten ever ever so I'm gonna open it for you guys I will not lie to you I have had this for like a month and a half okay I think I put something on TikTok or Instagram about it and that was all that I did so I'm kind of like mm, sorry pixie but I really am excited about this so I got four different palettes I got a face palette an eyeshadow palette which I'm gonna give you close-ups and then a lip palette and another cheek palette she said i'm honored and excited to present this year's pixie pretty so that's what this is we are having we have created an exciting collection of palettes for four extremely talented and creative beauty industry experts i got a little confused on what that said so the first one that we have is pixie and louise Rowe. that is the instagram or beauty industries person who they collabed with and made this and this is a cream rouge palette. Ooh. Ooh. Now I don't do lip palettes, so I don't know. I don't know that I would actually use this. 25 different lip shades. I mean, it's pretty. It has like all the beautiful warm tone colors. So then the next one is a shape shifter palette. And this one is between Pixie and Promise. Promise to Meng. I don't, I don't know who that is. On YouTube, she's Dope2111. And then on YouTube, Louise Rowe is Louise Rowe. So this is what this looks like. It just has some bronzers, contours, two highlighters, and then highlighting powders. So I actually would probably use this one because I can, it looks like I can use a couple of these bronzers. This one's not going to work out so well for me. Uh, this one probably maybe in the summertime. But I think this is cute. This is so cute. I love this. I'm excited for this one. Okay, so the next one is between Pixie and Tina Young. And her YouTube is Tina Creative. So this is a tones and texture palette. Ooh, see, I'm right here for this one, this one, 
this one. Ooh, okay. So this palette I'm a little excited for. I have gotten a couple of their eyeshadow palettes and hear me out. I think that most of them are stunning except for like the first two eyeshadow palettes I ever got from them. They were like the worst dullest most boring palettes you could think of but that one is really beautiful i'm deciding on whether or not uh, i want to keep this box just because one i don't know it's kind of important to me when i get like stuff like this so i get pr from pixie monthly however this is the biggest pr box i've ever received so and i don't mean like the amount because I only got four items but like the largest box I've ever received and I'd like to display it one day when I buy a house and I have my own little makeup studio so I'm in between let me know what you would do would you keep it and display it or recycle it so the last one is pixie and makeup by Denise I think that says Denise yes and on YouTube her name is Denise Asian A-S-I-A-M so this is beautiful this is a mind your own glow i thought this was a blush palette it's highlighters but like i could use this as blush and these as blush i could probably use some eyeshadows up in here but these are really pretty maybe i'll do a full face of pixie makeup if you guys want to see that comment down below and let me know i would totally get that out for you guys i love these and thank you pixie so freaking much for the four beautiful palettes i'm so excited to try them i can't wait i'm i'm excited i'm not gonna lie to you guys like super excited but guys that is it that is that's what i have today for shopping and PR. I did go to Sephora and I picked up a Kayali perfume by Huda Beauty and her sister. Uh, it's the Sweet Diamond one. It smells really good. I just don't have it. It's already opened. I got the one size new luminous setting spray. I got the milk makeup eye primer. So I do have new things that I've bought and I just forgot to do an unboxing with. So forgive me, but that's it. Like this is what, this is what I got. I got so much stuff, too much. I have a whole bin now. Of things I need to put away and organize so that's fun that's what happens when you are an influencer that reviews things on YouTube so drop that down there's always cleaning and organizing going on but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that like button for me make sure you leave me a beautiful comment down below and as always I will see you guys on the next one bye